morning everyone and welcome to my lounge. So today we are going to work out all together with light exercises just to make you feel much better. You won't need much equipment for this so what we will need is just uh, a chair and then a towel and then you can use a can of beans or what do we have here? Peeled plant tomatoes. A can is fine. And if you don't have a can, you can use bottle. It doesn't have to be a big bottle, it can be also a small bottle, it depends how strong you are. So let's start with a warm-up, okay? So all together we start with a step on the spot, okay, while you move your legs, let's move your arms as well. So, the right leg moves and the left arm moves, the left leg and the right arm, okay, opposite. Now, from here, we move on the side and then the other side. You can cross the leg, like if you are dancing, okay. I'm sure you are a good dancer. Hmm? So, let's do one, two, one, two, and clap your hands. One, two, one, two, and one, two, one, two. Good. Step on the spot and raise your knees as much as you can. Up and down, up and down. If you had total knee replacement, I'm sure some of you have, this is really good for it. And now let's kick back. It doesn't have to be too high. You can go just like this. Okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And raise your knee. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And step on the spot. Good. Now. Let's move your arms as well while you move your legs. So we go on the right and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And step on the spot. Good. I'm sure you already feel warm. And now we step forward. One, two, and back. Three, four, and back. One, two, front. One, two. One, two, front, one, two, back. And step on the spot. Good. How are you feeling? Oh, good? Good. Okay, now let's do raise hands and down. Raise your hands and down. Raise your hands and down. Raise your hands and down. Hands and down. Good. And step on the spot. Okay, now let's stop and let's do the same movement we've done before, first right and then left, but slightly bend your knee and back, slightly bend your knee and back, okay? So one, center, two, center, one, center, two, center, good, well done, all together, good. Remember to breathe, because sometimes people forget to breathe with this exercise. So catch your breath if you can. Good. And step on the spot. Okay. And now, stop. Catch your breath. And we do some easy stretch for your legs. So, leg on the side. Slightly bend your knee. And hold the position. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and let's swap leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, one leg forward. Bring your weight on the leg that you move forward and down. And let's hold it. One, 
just slightly bend it and when you with your arms just do like this this exercise is called feed the chicken because it's like you are feeding the chicken so imagine to have all the chicken around you like pop, 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 and you are feeding them and let's change leg one two three four and five okay now let's stretch at the back a bit so hands together move forward push forward with your hands head down and feel the stretch of the upper back and let's hold it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and relax and now backward we need to stretch the chest so hands together if you can try to bring the hands as much away from your body as you can if you struggle with it just put the hands together like this and just push in this way one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and shake your arms shake your legs and now let's move to the chair exercise so we have one chair very easy to find the chair right so you sit on the chair do not relax too much hmm? so from this position we start moving our ankles okay up and down up and down so one two one two one two one two one two come on people all together up and down up and down up and down good and now let's push with the toes of your feet so one two three raise your heel four five six seven eight nine ten okay and again with your toes up one two all together three four five six seven eight nine ten now with one leg i want you to kick like this one two let's try to not put the foot on the ground okay when you come back with your leg so one not touching two if you struggle it's fine to put the foot down but if you can just try to keep it lifted because it's harder so we're going to work harder in this way okay and now let's swap leg one two three four five come on three more six seven eight okay shake the leg shake the leg and then catch your breath and we do it again and one two three and four five three more six seven and eight and the other leg one two three four five six seven and one more eight and shake the leg shake the leg shake the arm shake everything good now we're going to work on the hip so it's like the step on the spot with the high knee raise but we start with this one and then the other one two okay three four five six seven eight nine ten and again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and ever rest <coughs> shake your leg shake your arms and just 
moment, catch your breath. If you struggle, just take your time, okay? You, we don't have to rush. Hmm? We do this to feel better, to feel stronger, okay? To have a great day. And again, last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A couple more. Nine, ten. And relax. Okay. Now we do some standing exercise with the chair. So ensure that your chair is stable. Okay. If you don't have a chair, you can use the wall if you want. Okay. But a chair it would be better because it's at the right height for this exercise. So what I want you to do with this is working on your hip, okay? So, hands on the chair to feel stable and kick back. One, two. Let's try to not put the foot down, okay, when you come back with your leg. This is wrong, but obviously if you struggle to keep the foot lifted, just put it down, okay, for a rest. It's better to work on the safe side and it's better to feel good for you, okay, in doing the movement. I want you to feel safe, okay, to have a good balance. So, hands on the chair, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three more, ten, eleven, and 12. And now the other leg. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3 more, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, have a rest, catch your breath. If you need to sit down, okay, just have a break and when you are ready to restart we can do it again okay we do few sets of these exercises okay because one is not enough <laughs> okay and again kick back raise foot and one two three four five try to keep your back straight six seven eight nine three more ten eleven and twelve at the other side one two three four five six halfway to go seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve okay and the rest so if you need to sit down, just sit down, catch your breath. So remember, when you do this exercise, back straight and try to not twist, okay, your pelvis. Hmm? So pelvis straight, back straight, we want to work with the full body, okay? It's an exercise for the hip, but we want to put effort on all your muscles. So to keep the back straight, you need to tighten your abs, Tight your glutes and your lower back to keep a straight position. Okay? Now, second exercise for the hip. We, okay, move the chair in this way. So, from here, we go with the leg on the side. Okay? Pretty much the same movement, but on the side. I take the chair away to show you. So, this is the movement that I want. Okay? So, you put the chair in front of you, hands on the chair always, and with one leg, we start. Good. One, two, three. Control the movement. Four, five. So, you control the movement when you go out, but also when 
you come in, okay? We don't want the leg falling down. A couple more, one, two, okay, and the other leg, one, two, three, four, back straight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three more, ten, eleven, and twelve, and relax, have a rest, catch your breath, let's sit here together for a moment, breathe in, and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out, and again, last one, breathe in, and breathe out, okay, let's do it again, all together, we start with the right leg, okay, back straight, and remember, when you open the leg, you control the movement, but also when the legs come back, okay? We don't want the leg to fall like this, okay? We want to control the movement all the way, okay? So, let's do it again. 12 repetition, okay? 12 on the right side and 12 on the left side. And let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, three more, ten, eleven, and twelve. And the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, halfway to go, seven, Eight, come on, don't give up. Nine, three more. Ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, and a box. Tough work. Mm -hmm. So, breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Ooh. Okay, now. We move to the upper body, okay? Upper body exercise. For this exercise, you will need the, the can or the bottle. So, remember that the cans are lighter than the bottle, okay? Also, this is a two liters bottle, so it's bigger than normally. Uh, usually it's a 1.5 liters, but I drink a lot. So, and you should drink as well, remember, hydration, is the key, okay? Is the key of a healthy life. So remember to drink during the day, okay? So let's start with the cup. So we are going to work on our arms now, okay? So from this position, I want you to hold the cans and move your arms up like this. Ensure that the elbow is close to your trunk, okay? Keep an upright position, and from here, let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and have a rest. Now we do it again. I just put this one down to show you how to use the bottles. But you can continue to use the can if you want, okay? It's not mandatory to use this. So, let's do it again. With the bottles, same movement, upright position with your back, elbow against your trunk, arms along your body, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the last one, eight. Okay, and let's put the bottle down. How you feel? Shake your arm. Okay. Now, we're going to do an exercise for the shoulders. For this exercise, I will use the can. Okay. We can stay in a sitting position. You could standing as well. I will show you the exercise from a standing position. So, 
From a sitting position, we start with the arms around the body and I want you to raise the arms like this. Ensure that your arm is not straight, okay? We don't want the straight arm because we don't want to put too much effort on your elbow. So slightly bend, you see? Slightly bend, like this, okay? And you need to reach the shoulder high. We don't want the arm here, okay? Just the shoulder level. So from here, let's go. One, and two, three, control the movement, okay? Four, when you go up, but also when you come down. Five, six, two more, seven, and eight, and relax. Now, if you want to stay in a sitting position, you can do it. If not, if you want to try to do it in a, from a standing position, we will bring the can in the middle of our body, it's the same movement, but it's a bit harder because in this way, to keep the upright position, you need to tight your abs, tight your glutes, your ab, the, uh, your bum, okay? So, sweet, <laughs> squeeze your bum. So from here, we do the same movement, okay? We, you see my elbow, they are slightly bent, okay? They're not straight like this, slightly bent. So from here, you reach the shoulder level, one, and two, and three, and four, halfway to go, five, six, seven, and eight, okay, and let's put it down. I have another exercise for the shoulder for you. We do the two version, sitting and standing position. You can use the can or the bottle, doesn't matter. Depends on, as I said, it depends how strong you are. But if you start with the can now, I think that if you follow me in a, in a couple of weeks, you will be able to do it with the bottle. Okay, can. I want you to keep the arms in this position, okay? Just be careful, if you had any problem with your shoulders, and you struggle with it, you struggle with the pain, it's better that you don't do this, okay? Let's just stick to this exercise. But for those of you that have a good mobility of the shoulder that didn't have any problem in the past, you can do this. So, from this position, chest out, upright position with the back, and one, two, you see I control the movement, three, Four, halfway to go, five, and six, seven, and the last one, eight, okay. Now, I show you the same exercise, but in a standing position. While I move, you can just breathe in, and breathe out, catch your breath, okay? Breathe in, and breathe out. Okay, from a standing position, I'm like this, okay, and let's go. One, two, control the movement, three, squeeze your glutes, four, tight your abs, five, and six, two more, seven, and eight, and relax, okay. So let's put the car down, shake your arms, and now we do some stretching because we are almost at the end of our workout for today. So we have the towel that I showed you before. What I want you to do with the towel is to roll it like this. From a sitting position, put the towel under the point of your foot and pull, okay? When you pull it, you will feel a good stretch all over your calf and your hamstring, which is the back of your leg, okay? So, and pull. And let's hold this position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Wait a moment. 
catch your breath and then again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and relax catch your breath and the last one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now we do the other leg okay other leg same position let's pull one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and relax and again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and relax and again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and relax okay if you don't have the towel or you struggle with you can just reach the point of your foot okay if you cannot reach it is enough to extend your arm okay so you can do this or this or also with the opposite arm okay good now let's give a good stretch at the back like we have done before so push forward and feel the stretch of the upper back forward forward okay hold it hold it remember to breathe and relax and again back push back arm to, uh, hands together and push them forward backward and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and relax now hold your elbow and push one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and the other arm one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and relax shake your shoulders shake your body and Thank you for today people, I hope you enjoyed the workout and I hope to see you tomorrow or as soon as possible. Okay, thanks a lot, bye!